Hola, hola, hola amigos. Buenos días, señorita y señor. Hello, how are you? I don't have all that much to say to you today. I just had a couple of things I thought I should mention. Firstly, do a little sound check. Can everybody tell me if you are okay and able to hear me? Because it would be nice if you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. Although, not always, to be fair. Um, how is everybody? I can see uh, your chat coming up in the bottom corner. I can hear you. Thank you very much, Jaleen. Jaleen? Jaleen? Jillian Ferguson, did I say it correctly? Hello, hi Brad, hi Michelle, Paddy, Rachel, Cole, how is everybody tonight? I've just got a few things to talk to you about and I was sitting in the office, which is here, and it's lovely, isn't it? It's absolutely lovely, this is where Graham works, um, although I seem to find myself in here loads and loads and loads. Cool, I did say your name correct. Hi, Brina, Natalie, hello Michelle, Bonnie, Brian, Jimmy. Hi, Rebecca, Catherine, you're going very, very quickly. I'll have to slow you down. Feel free to make sure you ask me some random and interesting questions that I've maybe never had before. I don't mind sharing at all. I had a couple of things I wanted to say to you. If you guys have come across from um, Facebook, uh, if you ever look at my stuff on Facebook, you'll see that actually it's completely out of sync and out of whack. I got kicked off Facebook because people thought I was fake. So now I have to jump through loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, and loads, and loads of hoops. Uh, just so that I don't get kicked off again. So if you watch on YouTube, you will see a lot of things that people on Facebook have not. Uh, what is my actual job title, says Asbiel? Well, actually, I am a, a bovine claw technician, a hoof trimmer, a fit trimmer, a hoof pairer. I don't really have a proper job title. Um, if somebody asked me what I am, I'd say I'm a cattle hoof trimmer. Uh, yeah. Hi, Laura. You spelled Graham wrong, Laura. It's G-R-A-E-M-E, the Scottish way. Uh, do you play Pokemon? I don't play Pokemon, Cisco, but uh, my kids do. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Can the same treatment work for sheep? Uh, not really, actually. You're not really supposed to trim sheep's feet. Um, you're just supposed to look after them if they've got a real problem. Uh, there are 558 of you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you're watching this right now. So a couple of things. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but I don't normally push merch to promote. I wear it all the time because I love it. But um, we did a bit of a push on on merch this weekend, and you guys went <laughs> bonkers. Uh, yeah, like thousands of orders. So, yeah, thank you very much for that. There's an hour and a half left if you want one of the white hoodies. Um, in fact, if you get a white hoodie just now, I'll give you a shout-out right now because it'll flash up on my phone. We have about 82 of them left. So that's 82 white hoof GP hoodies. <laughs> yeah, we sold uh, thousands of them. If I wasn't a hoof trimmer, what would I do? Uh, so I used to run pubs. I was the pubs and restaurants and clubs and coffee shops. I was the youngest uh, licensed publican in England at one time, actually. And considering the number of times you and Craig get poo and pus in the mouth, when will you be watching HGP mouthwash line? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, that's probably quite a good shout, actually. Uh, yeah. Are you a vegan, says Jillian. Jillian. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not a vegan. Uh, nope, I eat meat. Uh, hi, Donna. Thumbs up to you as well. Not sure if this has been asked yet, but do you plan on coming out with a CD or album of the playlist or music, says... Mm, I can't quite read your name. It went too quickly. Um, so... No, is the, is the quick answer. I get all of my music from Epidemic Sound. I love the music we put in, and it takes ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages uh, to pick. But no, I won't be. There is lots of playlists for the Hoop GP on Spotify, though. So if you want to listen to it in the car, like I do, just go, hey, Alexa, hey, Siri, hey, whoever is listening, play Hoop GP on Spotify, and he, she will play. Hi, Adam. How tough is the hoof of a bull? So it's pretty much the same as a cow, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's exactly the same as a cow, to be honest. Um, they're all, their claws, their feet are a lot bigger, but they're not any any tougher. Uh, Grey Lynn, are you a musician? No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a shower musician. I sing in the shower a lot. I love singing, uh, but I'm probably terrible. Have you done any new videos? Actually, that was something I wanted to talk about. Um, so we're doing a video right now. Uh, and normally I don't talk about videos before we do them because it just kind of happened, but there was a video I've been wanting to do for years and years and years, but the amount of work it goes into uh, is colossal. When you, when you 
see the video coming out, you'll know what I'm talking about because it will have magical in the title. But we've been working for weeks on this. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a new video. In fact, there's two new videos on my computer right now. We don't like to do them out of sync. So they're done one day and they're done. Oh, someone just ordered uh, Lolene Cornish. Hi, Lolene. Look, I've got a little thing that tells me who orders. Look, Mrs. HGP is on there, actually. Lolene Cornish, thank you very much for uh, your order. Uh, come across to the States. I am coming to Florida. So that was one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, keep asking your questions. I will get to them. Um, I'm coming to Florida on Monday, actually a week today. So if you want to come see me, come to the Drury Plaza Hotel from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. next Friday. Uh, no, next Thursday. So that's 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. in Drury Plaza Hotel in Orlando next Thursday. Uh, any update on the book? The book is out in the book is out in October. Uh, I can tell you the name of it. It is called On My Own Two Feet, uh, and it is yeah, it's yeah. I'm still coming to terms whether or not I should uh, be releasing it. If you guys have seen, so I do a lot of podcasts, but usually I've got my professional face on and the hoof trimming face on. But I did a. If you look up the sheep gate, no. If you look up fed by farmers, fed as in you've been eating. So if you look up Fed by Farmers, the Hoof GP, you'll see a podcast where I reveal a lot about my life, which I've never, ever, ever talked about. Um, yeah, you'll see a different side to me. So if you want to see a podcast, which uh, I'm very open and honest in, uh, yeah, it's a bit emotional, actually. <laughs> Start to go all like, yeah. But if you want to see a, a podcast that's an hour and a half long and shows that a different side to me, look up Fed by Farmers and uh, you'll yeah, you can you can watch that. Uh, hi Beth, hi Donna, hi Alicia. Uh, I watched the podcast. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Uh, I'm glad you thought it was great as well. Thank you because it was quite tough to put myself out there actually. Uh, hi Kurt, hi Iman. Uh, you're going to be in Tulare Farm Show. Tulare Farm Show is actually this week. Unfortunately, I'm not getting to Tulare. I would have absolutely loved to go back out to California. Um, like I said, we're in Florida next week. Uh, we will be at some farms. We will be at the conference. We're doing a talk. Uh, hopefully meeting a lot of you guys, Drury Lane Plaza Hotel, next Thursday from 1 till 3 p.m. And then in the summertime, I'm either going out to California or Texas, uh, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, where is my new KVK, says Niels. The new KVK is in all of the videos. It is uh, up and running. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's not very different, so you might not have noticed a difference. Uh, hi, Grant. Thanks for being a member. Uh, it was a brilliant podcast. Thank you very much, Vivian. I appreciate that. Hi, Bonnie, Laura, Kimberly. Hello, and Paula James. Paul, Paul, hello, Paula James. Sorry. What's your favourite farm to visit? Says Laura Henley. I've got like so. I found myself in videos saying, "Oh, this is my favourite farm. This is my favourite farm. This is my favourite." You're all going crazy on merch. Uh, thank you, Jody Watson. Jody Watson just bought a white hoodie with a silver emblem. Thank you very much, Jody. Uh, the white hoodies are really cheap right now because you guys are scared to buy white, but they're actually my favourite hoodie. They're only $29, £23, something like that. Uh, Michelle Matthews, did you ever think you'd be so popular? I don't like saying that. It's <laughs> popular all over the world. No, of course not. Um, but it's restored my faith in humanity because wherever we go, we meet people uh, who watch the FTP, and it's amazing to meet so many of you guys who are so fantastic. So, um, no is the answer, but I really appreciate you guys. Uh, come to Texas, says Jamie. Would love to watch you. I'd love to come to Texas. I really would. It's a bit of a dream, actually. Uh, what's my hobby? Um, cars. I absolutely love cars. Uh, I love being outdoors. Uh, I'm back in the gym. I used to be a total gym bunny, so I'm back in the gym. I've been back in for about a month now. Uh, actually working out with, with Mark. If you see the latest big video on YouTube, it's like 26 minutes long, maybe 30. Half an hour long, you'll see Mark, my brother-in-law. He is in the gym with me. Uh, would I come to San Pedro in Belize? Of course I would, Jin. Book me a ticket, I'll come. Uh, Victoria says, since it can be so harmful to the cows if the trim goes wrong, is there a safe substitute to practice on? Um, yes, yes, there is. So people practice um, using the grinder on pieces of wood because obviously they're, pieces of wood are not going to feel it. Um, and they also use cadavers, which is a bit morbid, but it's the best way to learn because it's so obviously realistic. And actually, I was teaching at a veterinary school uh, last week, last week, I think, 
uh, just briefly. But yeah, we had a lot of students using cadavers and it's a fantastic way to learn. Um, so yeah. How's your dog doing after surgery? It had a while ago, says Charlotte. Uh, really, 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 really well, actually. Um, Jody Watson, thank you very much. Jody Watson, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, Steve had uh, some, what, what, what's the word? Steve had surgery on his back. Steve is my French bulldog and he had a huge surgery on his back last year and luckily for us he is feeling absolutely fantastic now he really is so uh yeah he's doing really well actually mia hurt herself on a walk yesterday i go on lots and lots and lots of walks because i, lo I love getting out so yeah hello matey you are a top look thanks sean kp hi from liverpool watching in southern ireland says patricia uh, how do we ask questions, Pennsylvania? You've just kind of asked one. Just ask another one. If I see it, I will ask. Uh, Nick says, loving your sculptures. Uh, well, uh, my brother's sculptures. So James Parker's sculpture, he's fantastic. He's incredible. You can look him up on uh, any platform you find him. James Parker's sculpture. Uh, Sue Foster, hi, how are you? I don't have any cows or anything like that. I just like watching your videos. You'd be amazed how many people uh, say the exact same thing. Hi in Lanarkshire, Louise. Hello, how's it going? Hi, Jelly. Uh, Jelly Murphy, hi in Ireland. What would you say is the best way to cure digital dermatitis? Dermatitis is that thing that eats into the back of cow's feet and is absolutely horrible. The best way to clean it is to be as clean, uh, sorry, to kill it, is to be as clean as you possibly can be, which is really, really difficult. But um, yeah, using topical sprays like antibiotics or uh repiderma is the best thing but yeah just foot bath every single day with with bluestone as you call it in ireland shout out from ashbourne derbyshire hi nathan uh hello elizabeth hi maureen uh what is the thing you've seen since you started hoof trimming i'm not exactly sure what you mean but if you guys have come over from facebook you won't have seen this video because uh youtube works a bit quicker they're a little bit ahead of you in videos but that that um bit, that foot the other day, I don't know if you guys have seen it, where I pull a nail like this length out of that cow's foot, and she had that huge projection of uh, flesh and tissue sticking out, it was unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, go back. I think it's two videos back. A huge, huge rust, rusty nail. It looks like it's like this big, and then all of a sudden it pops out, and it's literally like two and a half inches long. I've never seen a cow's foot like that before, and uh, it really was incredible. Hi, Julie. Hi, Graham. You're in, hello in West Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, hi, Donna, Margaret, Kim and Paul. Angela, that poor girl. I know it was unbelievable. It really was. Uh, Philip, how long do your hoof knives last? So the edge on them, the sharp edge, lasts probably, probably 70 or 80 cows, 100 cows maybe at a push. Um, we try to renew the knives every couple of months. But um, it's really difficult keeping them sharp. So they're sharpened every day or every other day. Uh, yeah, it's really tough keeping up. Thank you very much, Sabrina Plum. Uh, you bought two items on my merch store. Thank you. Uh, Death, nice name. So I wanted to become a hoof trimmer. How would I do so? Uh, well, technically, you could just go and start trimming cow's feet, but I wouldn't suggest it. Um, the best way to do it is to get training in the States or anywhere in Europe. There are lots and lots of places who do five long, five day long professional hoof trimmers courses and then get a job on a farm and get as much as you can possibly um, practice on. Just get practicing, get practice, 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 practice. Uh, hello from East Netherlands. Oh, I'd love to go to the Netherlands. Hi, Christine. I found you because of farmer Pete from Dulscon. So who watches the uh, Dulscon farm fun here? Dulscon is where Fiona the sheep went. Did anybody see the story about Scotland's most lonely sheep, the, the world's most lonely sheep that we rescued? That was incredible. It was uh, it was really good fun and really cool. And Fiona the sheep, who was all by herself for actually about three years, we reckon, down on the Scottish Highlands uh, seashore, went to Dulscon. Uh, yes, I'm from Dulscon. Oh, hello, Vivian. Uh, Lino, Lino Murillo, been wondering why or when you stopped using the Embryonics Magical Paste. I never did stop using it. Um, so I still do use Embryonics Magical Paste. It genuinely is brilliant. So Embryonics Magical Paste uh, is this paste. It's basically iodine and, and uh, salicylic acid, and it's fantastic. It's really, really good. But 
you see me using salicylic because it's so strong and it's really really good at killing dermatitis so i do use magical paste just not that often uh hello in, at, in from atlantic canada hi heidi bill benny gg girl Oh, GG girl, watching you, Kami, and others getting the sheep from the cave, it got me to watch Sandy Brock. Well, hopefully I'm meeting Sandy quite soon, actually. She's over in Scotland fairly soon, so I'm hoping I can meet up with her and say hello. And hi, Faisal, in Afghanistan. Hi, Kenneth, in Texas. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. I need a, I need a drink. Say hello to each other, actually. Mm. My phone is beeping away here because you guys are... Sabrina Plum... Uh, yeah, Sabrina Plum, Jody Weston, Cassandra Doyle, all of you, thank you very much. You're on my merch store right now. If you've just joined, uh, there's exactly an hour and a half left to buy the cheapest hoodie we will ever do, the white one, which is really, really nice. It's $29 or £23. Go on the hoochiepee.com if you want one. Uh, hi, Anne-Marie Plaza. Do you trim mini cow hoofs? Uh, so, yeah, there's a video of me trimming Dexter's, which are tiny but not the miniature ones that you are talking about. Uh, they wouldn't fit in my crush, but I could definitely trim one, and I would love a few for the garden. They would be so cool as pet, pets. Derek Jolly, sorry I cancelled our date yesterday. Rearrange soon. So Derek Jolly is in the chat right now, and just absolutely berate him. He, um, That's my brother, my brother-in-law, obviously. Everybody's my brother-in-law. But he's not very good at driving buggies around. He's quite scared at driving fast, and he's not very good at it, so he crashes quite a lot. And we were supposed to go on like a mandate at the weekend, uh, rallying these buggies. But like I say, he was a little bit too scared to come uh, and he didn't want to get dirty. He said he'd just done his hair. So anyway, hi, Derek. Nice to see you. Uh, hi, Marzik. Uh, hey, another person from the Netherlands here. Have you trimmed horses' feet? What are the main differences? The main difference between a horse's foot and a cow's foot. Come on. Come on. Tell me right now. Yeah, bad Derek, Rochelle says. Um, so what are the main differences between a horse's foot and uh, a cow's foot. There's one major difference. Well, there's a few, but there's one huge one. Come on, answer before I do. Uh, how mean of you, Derek? Let's, look, everybody is on my side. Derek should not be scared of the buggies. Uh, can you do a vlog with your crew? Uh, I should do J Jaylene, shouldn't I? I should do like a proper behind the scenes. We're actually thinking about doing a full on behind the scenes kind of um, channel so that people can see what we get up to our lives. It's more of a kind of, oh, post a, a, a post your merch link, please. That makes sense. I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Uh, Thehoofgp.com. You just type that in and up it comes. And then you just go click, click, click. And you can do that. And right in the chat right now, I will post it. Ah, there you go. There's a link from the Hoof GP. Uh, right. As a farmer cow, thank you for your service, says Jake M. Moo. Not a problem, Jake. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever trimmed your feet, but I do appreciate it. Uh, Steph, Charlie, ha cows have cloven hooves. Yes, cows have cloven hooves. Horses have one digit. So in the interior anatomy of a horse's foot is really, really similar to a cow's foot, actually. Really, really similar. Uh, there's no caps in the store. There definitely are. Pappy, look up tricolor caps, uh, adults tricolor caps. There, there might, there should be. There was a thousand there a couple of days ago, so there should be. Can you post a picture of you with your brothers, Alicia? I will post a picture of me with my brothers on Facebook straight after this live. Okay. Hi, Dean. Love you guys. Hello from US Alabama. When you get home from trimming, does your wife give you a kiss, or does she make you shower first? So. Uh, she tries to make me shower first, but doesn't quite manage it. Uh, she does make me strip at the door. If you guys have seen any of the kind of behind-the-scenes the footage of the dry room and everything like that, she now um, makes sure that I get dressed outside. So, yeah, she does, she will kiss me, but I have to force it upon her. Uh, can your hoof blue be used to hold cracks together on her horse's hoofs? Can your hoof glue be used? Um, yes, it can. Definitely. Yes, 100%. Uh, Adam Walk, do you work full-time five days a week? As I hear, YouTube is a full-time job. So YouTube is a full-time job, but I'm really sad and pathetic and don't have much of a life. So I work full-time trimming cows' feet. We still trim 300, somewhere between 300 and 400 cows every single week. We are flat out busy. But then when I finish, I come back in here to my little office and uh, sit here for hours on end creating content but i love it 
Uh, it's, it is a hard job. It's massively tiring, but yeah, I do. Uh, Travelling with special abilities, you need a shower in the car park. That is a very bad idea. Please, please, please do not suggest that to Mrs. HGP. Thank you very much, Deb Jones. I think Deb Jones just bought a white hoodie. Have you ever come across a hoof which could not be fixed? Andy Dickinson, yes, I definitely have. Um, yeah, I definitely have. There are a couple on the channel, um, and what we do, but, but I've never... So, yes, I've come across hooves, which cannot be fixed, but I've never come across a cow that I can't help to make more comfortable. And that's my job. That's my aim, uh, functional cattle hoof trimming. I just want to make cows more comfortable than they were before they come into the crush. So, yes, unfixable ones are there, but we do always make them more comfortable. Uh, you need a man cave. I've got, like, three man caves, Mike. Like, they're everywhere. Louise Cunningham, hi, from Banger in Maine. We have a Maine coon cat. I think they originated from there, didn't they, Louise? And he is huge. Uh, is it 635 or 735 there currently? Uh, oh, is it 635 or 735? It is 636 here. Uh, Dustin, how do you charge per cow or per farm? How much do you charge? So we charge £10 per... No, we charge £9 per cow if we visit the, cat, the farm every two weeks because that means they're looking after the cow's feet so they are more easily looked after. If it's ad hoc, as in if it's just here, there, and everywhere, then we will charge, uh, try to remember, £11 per cow, and it's £10 per cow if we go every four weeks. So £9, £10, or £11, which is about $12, $13, or $14, roughly. Oops, just bought a hoodie, says Heidi Kerswell. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you get... Oh, yeah, I see you. You've got a different second name on there. I won't read it out. But, yeah, I do see you just bought a hoodie, Heidi. Thank you very much. Uh, what's the worst hoof you have ever dealt with, Suzanne Hunt? So we had we were actually talking about this the other day. Um, we we actually went and – what's the word? What's the word? We picked up a cow's foot, and it actually fell in half. It literally broke in half. Um, in, that, uh, in that case, unfortunately – we had to get the vet to look after the cow because we just simply were not able to do it at all. Um, yeah, when a hoof falls in half, there's like nothing that can be done about it. Uh, yeah, uh, I am looking for cats. Somebody keeps telling me there's no caps in stock. There we go. I am just about to post. Look, if I if you look in the chat right this second, there is a link to the baseball cap. See, Hoof GP, and it says baseball cap. If you click on that link, there are definitely caps. I've just checked. Right. Uh, hello in Idaho. I'm wearing the bright green one, says Yoshi. Love it. I love it as well. Hi, Joan Lovelace. Uh, hi, Paul. Sweden calling. Can you sign a cap if I buy it? Paul, they're all miles away from me just now, I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would love to sign one. Um, I will, what I should do is I should sign a bunch. Oh, oh. My wife's on the phone. We'll answer it. Hold on. We have answered it. Okay, talk. Ashley, you're, you're live on, on YouTube. Hello. 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 Everybody can hear you. Are you talking? Oh, you're on YouTube live. Yes, I'm on YouTube live. Yes. How can I help you? I was just wanting to tell you Dad was here. Ah, okay. I shall be in very soon. Okay. Okay. Right, love you, okay, darling. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> bye. bye. Uh, Eric. Not sure how to ask, not being rude, but how does a business like yours afford those awesome cars and house? I love your work and how humble you are. I don't mind you asking Eric at all. Uh, I'm very, very, very lucky. Um, yeah, I, we, we've worked very, very hard for a long time. We YouTube helps loads and sponsorships of the channel helps a lot. So yeah, that's how, that's how we do it. Uh, I'm lucky that we've been able to help family as well. So three of my brother-in-laws work for me. I work at brother-in-law's farms so yeah we're very busy and uh yeah it's good that was a weird answer wasn't it uh rudolph wolfgang preiser what a name rudolph wolfgang preiser preiser hey from lake tahoe uh nevada i've been watching for years caught my first live stream thanks very much rudolph i appreciate it and thank you rob for that rob witten let's celebrate the first super on a live there we go we just celebrated it uh, Eric, well deserved. Thank you. Uh, Kelly Rager, hi and bye, Mrs. HGP, Ashley. Yeah, she wasn't on for very long, was she? Hello, Vicky. I can do that too. Hi, Joseph. 
Uh, can I ask who sings the song at the beginning of your videos? I love it. So she is called Eba Bendegahal, I think. Eba Bendegahal, and she is Norwegian. Uh, it's a, it's a, so he's asking about the song at the beginning of a lot of my videos. It's by a band called Houses on the Hill, and uh, the song is called Fall Into You. It's a really good song. Hi, Sharon in Bulgaria. Right, okay, I'm gonna, uh, my father-in-law is here, so I'll give this another five minutes and then I shall disappear. Actually, a few of you are buying merch, so I'll read your names out. Orders, Ooh. Uh Gary Littlefield, hello Gary, how are you? Uh, Stephanie Ansel, how are you? Thank you very much for all the support. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, and actually, you're helping to support the Sheep Game, so Kami, Wilson, who has the Sheep Game YouTube channel, he deals with all of our merchandise. And it's fantastic because we're able to pay him really well for it. Well, you guys pay him really well for it, actually, because he takes a big portion of um, what, the turnover. So it's really good that you're supporting him. He's a small farmer. with a, a He's really struggling. He Well, he's a farmer. He is a farmer, but he doesn't own a farm. Um, so helping him out is fantastic. So every time you buy merch, you're not just helping this channel, you're helping Kami from the Sheep Game as well. And I really appreciate it because I know he does too. Uh, hit the like button, says Rochelle, you are right. Hello, will you ever visit Canada? I should visit Canada, happiness to life. I definitely should. Um, I'd love to come to Canada. I would. I nearly emigrated to Canada, actually. It's a very long story. But um, I was very, very, very close to emigrating to Canada when I was... 19 years old, I want to say. Um, what happened actually was me and a friend uh, booked accommodation, all sorts, one-way tickets, everything was everything was there set to go, and then I changed my mind right at the last second. And I'm glad I did, because I love the life that I've got. Uh, yeah, I was looking for something that possibly wasn't even there. Uh, Suzanne Hunt, thank you very much. Suzanne Hunt just bought a... Wait, should I say it? Is that a present? Uh, oh, the Hoof Plan unisex t shirt That Hoof Plan t shirt and hoodie I designed by myself. I sat here for hours. So, Suzanne, I really appreciate you getting one of those. Uh, I love them. And it teaches you all about what the different zones of a hoof are called. Lisa Alberson. Uh, John Little, Littleton. Yeah, hello. You're busy, busy, busy. Right. I'm going to answer as many of these as possible. Let's go. The only person that has pronounced my surname right. I think Walk is a, is it not a, a Scottish name? I think I've got a, a jump on that one. I'm not. Hey, Lu, Louis, Louis uh, Lanham from Texas. How do you manage so many animals without maintaining sterile or clean procedures? Well, we do clean everything. We probably clean things more than any other hoof trimmer in the world because we have the luxury of having loads of people on hand. No, I'm not going to say we clean things more than any other hoof trimmer in the world. That's not true. Um, but we do clean them as much as anyone else in the world. Uh, but cows produce a lot of manure and they do it in a very short space of time, which is why everything looks so dirty so quick. But when we start, everything is completely spotless. And when we leave the farm, everything is also completely spotless. Um, Steph, Charlie, do you still sell Kirsty the Cow plushies? So we sold Kirsty the Cow plushies. We bought 2,000 of them and they sold out really quick. It's the <laughs> same as everything else. So he's uh, talking, uh, she, he, she, he, uh, she um, is talking about Kirsty the Cow plushie, which uh, is the channel mascot. Uh, unfortunately, we're completely out of stock because they took a year to come and I didn't expect them to sell out as quickly. But we are on with... Um, producing more. Thank you very much, Charlotte Elizabeth Adderley, for the order you just placed. <laughs> this has turned into like a, this has turned, <laughs> turned into like a shopping channel, hasn't it? Uh, Pain of the Rose. Brother, I love all your videos. I never thought I would be so interested in a hoof, but what you do is amazing. Thank you for helping the cows and bills. It is a pleasure, Pain of the Rose. I really love doing what I do. Uh, Paul Spartles, do your hands hurt when you use a knife on hard hoofs? If, yeah, it's really tough going, actually. After a long day, you get really, really tired, which is, I know, yeah, Yoshi just said, don't forget your father-in-law, you're right. Um, yeah, after a tough day, it is really hard going. Um, you're flat out, your biceps hurt a lot, and I don't know what you call this part, but your forearms, this bit here, um, I've got a funny name for them, but I can't say it on a family-friendly channel, but this bit here um, can really, really hurt. Uh, Nevada Dan, how often do you, are you compensated by the farmer, daily, weekly, or monthly? 
Uh, so monthly, pretty much, we send out invoices every single month to farmers, and they pay us pretty well. They are really good uh, at the time, timing. And oh, it's like I'm burping. That's gross. Uh, they are, yeah, they pay us really well. So I mean, on time. They are prompt, most of them. Uh, Chris Cannon, what is that blade that you have on your grinder? So Chris is talking about the grinder and the blade that trims the cow's feet. Uh, so it's a roto clip round three three blade. So it's the most aggressive disc you can buy, uh, but I absolutely love it. I love it to pieces. Uh, Pappy says, do you own, own your own cows or sheep? No, I don't. Uh, I tried to buy my family farm back a couple of months ago, but the tax on it was colossal and we couldn't bring ourselves to pay it. So no, unfortunately, I don't. But maybe watch this space. Uh, I'm out later, Hood GP. Bye, Jalen. Uh, Panhead Panda, is there anything you've seen that has grossed you out? No, in a word. Uh, I'm not easily grossed out. I've lived on farms and been brought up around farms all of my life. It's literally in my blood. So it's very, very difficult. Um, it's very, very difficult to go with me out. Could you do more lives when you are out hoof trimming? Yes, I can do that and I will do that, June. Um, that is the plan. Uh, that is definitely the plan. Right, I really do need to go inside and talk to my father-in-law, don't I? I think I made him a cup of tea as well. Uh, Michael Berry just ordered from the merch store. Thank you very much, Michael Berry. Because, you know, because I, I mentioned some one person that ordered, I need to mention everybody, so thank you. <laughs> uh, Christy Mackay, will you be putting your book out this year? Yes, I said earlier on, 100% my book which will be called On My Own Two Feet, get it, will be released, but not until October. So yes, I am definitely releasing my book, but not until October, and I am extremely nervous about it. So be kind. Uh, bye bye, Jane. Uh, just me. Good evening. Uh, do you still visit Mr. Panda Bull? Mr. Panda Bull is no longer with us, the great Gonzo, I'm afraid. Uh, but you are truly an OG, aren't you? Uh, Mr. Panda Bull went for me a few times, actually. I was going to say he's lovely. He was lovely, but he still went for me a few times. I saw you mention in an episode that you're not allowed to administer the animal pain relief drugs when treating, and only vets can. Why is that limit in place? Um, because people misuse things and don't use their common sense. Sometimes you need to put restrictions in place to ensure that nobody does things that they that are incorrect. So it can't be taken for granted that everybody has common sense because they definitely don't, unfortunately. Uh, Carolyn Con, uh, Carolyn Con, thank you very much for your order. It will be sent out tomorrow from the Sheep King, Cami Wilson, and it will be with you as soon as possible. I appreciate you. Howdy, Ando. Hi, Vicky. Couldn't find a genuine soul. Thank you for... Couldn't find a more genuine soul. That makes sense. Oh, thank you. Uh, buy a beer. Uh, I can't buy a beer because I'm not manly enough. I don't, I'm not, so I don't drink beer. I'll have a cider though, if that's all right. I like cider. Uh, hi from Indiana. Right, I really am going to go because I'm going to get in uh, in trouble from Mrs. HGP for, for missing her father. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I really do. If you want to see me, come to Florida, come to the Drury, the Drury Plaza Hotel in Orlando next Thursday. Uh, that's next Thursday, not this one coming, but the following Thursday between 1 and 3 p.m. And I will meet and greet a lot of you. And actually, I've got a surprise, kind of little game if you come along. Um, yep, if you want one of the white hoodies that are right now $29 or £23, then you have exactly one hour and 11 minutes to go to thehoofgp.com to get that. And it will come out to you. That is as cheap as we can possibly make them. Uh, and I'm glad that we actually can make them that cheap but they're only online for another hour and 10 minutes. Okay, right, there's no pockets. I know there's no pockets, Phoenix, but they are the, honestly the most cozy, comfy hoodies you will ever have in your life. Right, I'm going. Goodbye. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Cheerio.